Stem cell research dominates our science news. Now there's talk of a stem cell facelift. Dr. Robert Bruick of Associates in Cosmetic Surgery explains. In very simple layman's terms, a stem cell is what we call a pluripotent cell. Uh, it's sort of like a kid looking for an identity, uh, a family looking for a neighborhood to live in. So a stem cell is a cell that needs an identity. It's looking for a path to differentiate down. For example, the idea is if we put a stem cell in a joint where there are bone and cartilage cells, the stem cell will say, I think I'm going to become a bone cell. I'll become a cartilage cell. If we put the stem cell in the heart, stem cell sitting there, I think I'm going to become a heart cell. So it has a lot of potential, pluripotent, to differentiate down different cell lines. And so, as we look at how stem cells can help us in facial rejuvenation, it, it occurred to me that perhaps um, we can use stem cells, a patient's own stem cells that we harvest from their own fat, and most of us have a little extra fat, and use the stem cells in that fat to try and regenerate the skin from the inside out. In other words, we put makeup on our face, we put rouges and foundations. We're not doing anything to inherently improve the overall quality of the skin. So the idea is to take the stem cells, mix it with what we call protein-rich plasma and a little growth hormone, and put those cells underneath the skin, hopefully to regenerate uh, from inside out. On what areas does a stem cell facelift work? When people come in to see me for facial rejuvenation, um, they obviously have suffered the ravages of age. Sun damage, uh, their skin has lost elasticity, the collagen content. And most women, I think, I that, that are watching the program today, uh, many of them will take their thumb and index finger and start pinching their skin and realize their skin has actually thinned over time. So that skin has been damaged because of elements, because of genetics, because of aging. And so we're trying to do what we can to hopefully restore some of it. It's not a dramatic result, but many times when I do fat volumization, when I do stem cells, I'm doing it in conjunction with uh, a mini lift or a full face and neck lift or something else. And Dr. Bruick told us where these stem cells come from. The stem cells that we use are adult derived stem cells from a person's own fat. Uh, we usually take the fat from their flanks or their thighs. It's interesting, and through doing the research and the reading, in a syringe of about 20 cc's, there are approximately 25 million stem cells in that amount of fat. Uh, so it, it's, it, they're quite plentiful, and uh, they certainly can have a prominent role to play in rejuvenating a person's skin. We asked Dr. Bruick if there's a greater risk with this type of surgery. It's a very safe procedure simply because of the fact you're using the patient's own tissues. Uh, it's not a foreign material, it's not a, a graft from somebody else that you're putting into another person. It's your fat, they're your stem cells, it's your blood. Uh, so it's a very, very safe procedure. And I think it's one that uh, we'll find more and more indications for. For example, uh, in the treatment of burns, being able to harvest fat and stem cells from a patient's own body and using that somehow to create a physiologic dressing for burns. Uh, so the, the, the possibilities are limitless. Uh, I think they're only constrained by your own sense of imagination and adventure. But I think it's a very safe procedure because it's using the patient's own tissue. So there's no type and cross match, if you will, if you have to get a blood transfusion, it's your tissue.